a bowl of cereal can be a great way to make some models to solve integer problems. All right, I've got my little key. These are my positives, these little orange cereals. These are my negatives, these little purple cereals. And let's start making some zero pairs. I've got one, two, three, four, ah, five, six, seven zero pairs, and these two little positives left over. So let's think about what this means. Okay, I started with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine positives. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven negatives. So what I have here is seven positives and seven negatives. That gives me a zero pair. And remember, this nine is made up of two and seven. So what I have left over are two positives. So nine plus negative seven is positive two because I can make seven zero pairs and two left over. Okay, let's try with some red and green cereal. Green's gonna be my positive, red's gonna be my negative, and here I've got my red and green cereals. And let's find some zero pairs. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six zero pairs, oh. And I have four negatives left over. So let's see what it looks like. I started out with one, two, three, four, five, six positives, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten negatives. So I made one, two, three, four, five, six, zero pairs. Six plus negative six, there are our six zero pairs. And I have these four negatives left over because negative 10 is made up of negative six and negative four. I kind of went together. So negative 10 is six negatives and four negatives. So when I look at this, six plus negative 10, I have six zero pairs and negative four left over. Get out your cereal or your playing cards or your Skittles or your M&Ms, whatever you need to, and work out these four problems. Find your zero pairs. You got this.